Cooler temperatures are on the way tonight, but how low will they go and how quickly will they warm up? Let's check in now with CBS 42 meteorologist Alex Puckett. He's got a look at tonight's forecast. Hey, Alex. Hey, yeah, another relatively cool evening in store for us. Not quite as chilly as the past couple of nights, but still cool and comfortable is the story overnight tonight. And it's been a pretty pleasant day too. Yeah, a little warm in the afternoon, but with the dry air in place, certainly didn't feel bad outside. It's a live view of Grand uh, from our Grandview Medical Center camera. Not much to talk about as far as what's going on in the sky. A few clouds, but that's it across central Alabama. We have seen a little bit of rain back towards the Gulf Coast. Some showers and storms back towards the Mississippi River. We do expect these to continue to trend east. We could see some rain approach the Mississippi Alabama border, mainly to our north as we head through this evening and tonight. But central Alabama, we're going to keep the rain chance incredibly low. Temperatures sitting in the 80s right now. Dew points are in the 50s for most of us, so that dry air still in place, making things feel comfortable. But as we head through this evening, a few clouds out there. We're going to keep the rain chance at zero through 10 p.m. So as far as any impact to you from rain, we don't expect it. Temperatures dropping into the 70s as we head through this evening and into the 60s before sunrise tomorrow morning. Not as cool. I don't expect spots to make it in the 50s, but not bad. Tomorrow afternoon, temperatures about where they've been today, generally mid to upper 80s in West Alabama, 85 in Ewan, up to 89 in Bology. Uh, in Central Alabama, low to mid 80s, a few upper 80s south of I-20. Calera coming in at 87 tomorrow. Leeds and Locust Fork coming in at 83 tomorrow. And in East Alabama, mainly low to mid 80s. 84 in Hoax Bluff, uh, 81 in Roanoke, 85 the high temperature in Rockford and Sylacauga tomorrow. So pretty close to average for us as we head through uh, the next uh, 24 hours. As we head through tonight, I can't rule out an isolated shower west of I-65, but again, rain coverage will be less than 10%. Tomorrow, a chance for an isolated sprinkle. Can't rule it out. We're going to put the rain chance at 10%. I'm being generous to the coverage of showers tomorrow. Most of us stay dry through Thursday. Friday and Saturday. Then as we head into Sunday, we start the day out dry, but Sunday evening we might see a shower sneak in as we head into Sunday night and a few more scattered showers possible as we head into Monday. So the rain chances are going to eventually trend up next week. Again, that rain chance tomorrow and Sunday very, very low. We're being generous by putting it at 10%. Uh, more hit or miss showers and storms as we head into next week. But the good news here with all the rain, nothing significant here. We're talking about spotty rain coverage next week, and I don't expect this rain to impact any of the high school football games. We're going to be dry for those games both Thursday night and Friday night temperatures in the 70s for both of those uh, get both nights of high school football games across the state of Alabama. So the weather looking good through the rest of this week, but we do bring in that chance for some scattered showers and storms as we head into the first half of next week.